What's up, everybody? Um, so the video I posted uh, yesterday um, did really well, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. It was very, very challenging, and I wanted to show you guys my setup because it's super simple, and uh, you can re easily replicate this at home, and uh, I'd like to see you guys try. Um, I'm not sure how difficult it looked in the video when I did it, but it was extremely difficult and you can make it extremely easy or extremely difficult like I did because uh, I was trying to do it in under a second and I think I achieved that. I'm gonna go back and edit the video and uh, show you um, the exact time from the time the balloon popped to the time I stuck the, the can. So um, I actually did this uh, trick shot about three years ago at my old place. And at the time I did it with just a, a two inch ring. Um, let me find one real quick. At the time I did it with just a two inch ring um, and I didn't add any, I don't think I added any weight to it at the time. Um, so what I did this time, you know, I wanted to use a can, uh, but uh, a can obviously doesn't weigh anything. So what I did is I just taped the ring to the bottom of the can. Uh, these are a little bit thicker rings. Um, I'm gonna show you how much they weigh in a minute because that's kind of crucial. And you can make this trick shot as difficult or as easy as you want, depending on the, the weight and the counterweight. Um, so what I did was I just used string, just a uh, simple like, I think this is like kite string, pretty, pretty thin and light. And I just tied this, I just uh, tied this to the can on the, uh, the tab. And then I used a couple eye hooks. Um, here's the, the bottom one. And then there's also one at the top there. And that, that is the counterweight. And also there's a clip on the end of it, which is crucial. Uh, the last time I did this, I used just a, uh, a ring and then I didn't have um, a balloon or anything to start it. So I just set a, a bottle on top of it and I just knocked the bottle over first and then the ring fell down. And uh, so I wanted to utilize a balloon because for whatever reason, people like to see balloons pop in videos. It's something very clear and audible for the viewer to see. So I've been using those a lot more lately. Um, but all this is is just a, I don't know, an office clip. I'm not sure what you call those. And then there is a, a fender washer on there and then there is a, I think it's a uh, quarter inch nut on the end. Um, so it's super simple. Oh, but in order to the crucial thing, and this took me a while to figure out, I wasn't sure. I knew I wanted to do this concept, but it took me a little while to kind of figure out. And luckily I had this clip because this clip is crucial. Um, it's using balloons, tie the balloon, you put the, the balloon knot up through the, the eye and then you just barely, barely clip that clip onto that balloon. And then this go, obviously goes up to the other eyelet and then the weight holds it down. And then when you pop the balloon, it, it allows this to pop up. You know, it, it just releases it. So it's super simple, super easy to make. Um, you know, you can make this for you know, five bucks, you, of course you need balloons. And just to be honest, I went through about three packs of 20 balloons each. So, um, so yeah, so you can replicate this at home. I'm gonna take this over to the scales and I'll show you exactly the weight ratio I used so you can do the exact same thing at home. Like I said, depending on how much weight you use, for the can and the counterweight uh, determines the difficulty of the trick shot. Okay, regular 12 ounce can, but the ring on the bottom of it weighs 80.5 grams. And the counterweight, and I, uh, I should tell you that, that I put that washer on there so it wouldn't go through that other eyelet. So the weight of this, 
is 14.7 grams. So we got 80, 80 and a half and about 15 grams. So that determines how, uh, how fast the, uh, the can drops. You can change the weight on either end to make it slower or faster. And uh, also depending on how long the string is as well. But um, my dog is loving that balloon. <laughs> she usually pops them within a few seconds. Oh, never mind. There, there it goes. But uh, <laughs> um, there are a few of you guys that I would love to see try this. So that's exactly why I am showing you my setup. And I wanted to do this last night, but I was running out of time. Is I, next time I do this, I'm integrating that. So we can get it down to a hundredth of a second, see how fast uh, we're actually doing things. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys set this up and try it. It's very, very difficult to get your, after the first throw, it's very difficult, especially because I was using overhand. I started off using straight from the sheath. Um, obviously that's quicker and easier, but you don't have as much power to pierce and pin the can and accuracy is tough. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.